Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in this box. Always when there's a packaging change means there's new products on the way from Ubiquity. So today we're going to be having a look at the Ubiquity G5 Dome. We'll talk about this. Not meant to be a big technical overview. You can find that on the website. I'm going to show you what you get in the box. And there's plenty of bits in the box. So let me just walk those uh, through with you. Uh, you get a little, let's have a little, an installation guide. Um, and there's a remembrance that this is a PoE device. Very serious there. You're gonna get a conformity guide, all right, which you probably never ever open. Um, and you're gonna get another uh, little packet, probably a uh, set of wipes to be able to clean uh, the lens and everything else there. You are going to get a uh, little mounting guide here. Let me just show you, so make sure I've got this up the right way. Here we go. All right, so you can see all the holes that you'd need to drill to be able to mount that, and you've got a nice level on there to show you how to do that. You are going to get a packet of uh, lugs, various clips, and quick release tools. There we go, to be able to mount this and to be able to release it once the plate's locked in. You are going to get um, your mounting plate. So if you've never done one of these, same as the G4 dome, same as the uh, G3 domes as well. Um, so if you've put this up onto, or you're gonna put this up onto the ceiling, um, you have mounted this um, upwards or on the wall, maybe you're gonna do. Um, once that's in place, you're gonna put this into the uh, slots at the back, put it round and lock it into place. Now with that in the box, you will also get a uh, uh, ceiling mount for a false ceiling. So if you've got ceiling tiles, a track or something like that, this is gonna go above your tiles. You are going to uh, push four holes through them pull the bolts that I showed you in the other packet between here. And once that's sandwiched together, that will be on your ceiling tile. And then again, you can just clip and rotate your uh, device onto it. You are going to get uh, the bung, um, which I'll try and remember to show you where that goes. Um, probably quite simple to just show you. Um, this is the back of the uh, unit here. Um, and the idea is it just goes in, you're gonna pass your ethernet cable uh, through the hole there. All right, and then you're basically going to put that uh, into place. It's not going to make it watertight, but it is going to help uh, keep out bugs and everything else that are there. All right, then you are also going to get um, your uh, anti-vandal uh, cover that will go on the front of the camera there as well, which I'll probably show you in a moment. So let me show you the camera itself. Like I said, this is a 2K camera. I think its resolution is something like 2,688 times 1,512 at five megapixels. Um, it's got two-way audio in here, uh, very, very similar to uh, the G4 Dome. It's got a viewing angle of about 102 degrees, full PoE powered. Um, obviously you do need Unify Protect to run it. So if we have a look at the device itself, we get the uh, camera here in the front. Um, that has, as you can, hopefully you can see if I hold that up, um, it has a direction that it can roll up and down. And then on the camera itself, um, we do have the ability there, hopefully I can show you that, to actually rotate that round. So once it's put in place, you have around about 90 degrees that it will move in either direction. All right, this is, I think it's IPX4 rated, so it is weather resistant. Um, and it's something, I can't remember what the thing is, is it IK08 or IK08 van, anti-vandal rated? So once you've got your positioning of your camera here, you're going to clip into place um, your cover there, probably not very well done. Or we try that again, see if I can uh, do that, find where it locks into place um, and clean the lens down. So I put my fingers all the way over it. There we go. And it's now locked into place and uh, covered up. All right, so let me just lift that up so you can see the uh, front. Um, see there again, you can see the microphone and speaker holes. All right, um, and then uh, just show you where the cable comes in. And like I said, this is where the bung is then going to go in place. Um, right down in there, you can see uh, we have um, our reset switch or reset hole, um, and you can see your ethernet cable um, in. Um, and hopefully you can see here um, where the uh, plate, the mounting plate goes to actually fit that uh, in position. So obviously you've got quite a lot of flexibility of how that works. You might mount it this way, you might be able to mount it this way, you could mount it up uh, this way. And then obviously, like I said, once it's in place, you've got movement to move it either way here and obviously take the cover off um, 
the front here um, and you will be able to move that up and down camera to give you a little bit of extra uh, coverage. So hopefully that's been useful. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. Loads more box openings on wireless networking and firewall devices, how to set up your Unify Protect network, how to set up a Unify network. Um, you'll find some links to this compared with some of the other cameras that Ubiquiti have done um, from night shot from the same location. Um, this is uh, the uh, G4 and the G5 uh, dome. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date.